All right, this read, I'm back. Uh, they got the Art and Luthery guitar. I just want to need to make a new video about it. I've already made, I think, two videos. Actually, I've already made three. I've already posted two. This will be the fourth video, and you can just refer to the, the most recent two videos. I'll probably just block those first two videos only because <clears throat> we found out that this is a left-handed guitar. It was set up to play right-handed. And my boss helped me out with this. He changed the strings back around. <clears throat> he said he might not. He might have wrapped this opposite. He's not sure, but he, he switched the he switched the strings around so it's set up to play left-handed. One of the strings broke. The, the smallest string did break. So you'll need to get another set of strings, regardless. Um, you know, if you get this guitar when you get it, which I'm sure most people would probably like to do anyway. Um, the guitar sounds good we're not guitar players but it's in really nice condition in my opinion we did put we put a new battery in there that's why we had already started taking the strings loose to, to, to um, get the battery so he went ahead and switched the strings over so it would go ahead and be left handed um, this has got a tuner on it and you know of course I don't know all the ins and outs, but it's got the tuner. <clears throat> it's got a tuner and a, you know, whatever those other buttons do, which is like volume and bass and treble. I'm not sure. Um, but you can see, watch the, the last video that I made, which is going to be a real short video. We plugged it into an amp and tested it and everything like that. Now, just. Try to go over this. It's a CWQIT Art and Luthery, made in Canada. And again, as I did previously, but since this is the new video, I do want to go back over the condition of this. I'm hoping you can see it good. Um, trying to keep this video kind of short here. It does have some fingerprints on it and stuff now. Oh yeah, by the way, this piece right here that you see, that's uh, I'm not sure what that's called. Um, also, I did I also did a paper test on this previously to see if this bridge was coming up, and you can't slide paper underneath it at all. Um, but this piece that that you see missing right here, <clears throat> it will be included. It just it doesn't hold in good without the string, so I've just put it in my desk drawer for right now, and um, I will ship it. You know, I'll put it in a little you know tape it in a little piece of bubble wrap or something and uh send it along with the guitar so you can you know so you'll have that piece I, I, of course you know obviously um i'll try to go over the condition of this i'll try to pan over the whole guitar here i'm hoping that you can see it usually these videos works better than than pictures um, to me, this is extremely nice. It is a used guitar, but you know, I mean, if you if you're watching this video and you know, and you've watched the others, there's really nothing else to say. There's a little nick right there. You can see, um, tiny little nick right there. Tiny little indention right there. Small little indention there. So it's got a few little dings on it. I think this wood's really soft wood. I mean, I don't know as much about guitars. I know more about wood than I do about guitars. And that's a, that's a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's a, a, a uh, characteristic of a soft wood. You can take pine wood, um, like a piece of pine, you know, white pine and you can stick your fingernail in it and it will indent it so i don't know what kind of wood this is made out of if you're watching this i'm sure you probably do know because i don't know that's got a lot to do with guitars but um i can tell you that to me that seems like that wood right there on the front of that maybe is a soft wood to have those little indentions on it i don't know for sure um I just know that you can do, you can easily indent a soft wood like a pine with your fingernail. 
whereas the oak or something you can't not as easily anyway you could do it with a screwdriver or something like that but not probably not with your fingernail anyways uh five minutes here we know that's kind of the needs to be the cutoff point for some of these videos and everything um you can see the characteristics of the wood right there i'm putting it in the light i'm glad i'm able to do this video because you can see it better but anyway yeah set back up for left-handed play now uh like I said, you'll need a set of strings. Everything's working. You know, the electronics, the tuner, everything's working. It's a really nice guitar. Uh, made in Canada, R and Lou 3. Uh, no need for me to go on any further on this one. Five minutes and 52 seconds. Signing off now.